People who don't know Jerry Banfield, my clip two is a reminder. Oh, good. From broke to millionaire, day one. My name's Jerry Banfield, and I've been in debt for 19 years now. My wife and I currently have a net worth of minus several hundred thousand dollars, and I'm going to document the journey from here to all the way having over a million dollars in assets. When's that going to happen? <laughs> <laughs> so so if, if you've heard us talk about Jerry before, and if you never have... So what we're looking at here is YouTube now has this shorts thing, which is jumping on the reels and yeah, TikTok. There's sure. these short videos. So now Jerry is just a clickbait asshole who just takes the same messages to new platforms. And that's what this is, Perfect. is him just talking about his money again. So when it comes to the last time I was here, Carl was just like, well, Jerry's finances is what makes him very fascinating. Yeah. He doesn't really talk about it. This is it. I'll, I'll, I'll Spoiler alert. This is just a reminder well, of. Well, I don't Joe, have anything about his finances. I don't agree with my well, opinion from that. I don't agree with my opinion from that anymore. Now that oh. Jerry is black, yeah, yeah, and okay. hangs out with space aliens, right? Yeah. And I'm not making either of those things up, <laughs> right? So, so he's way more interesting than he used to be. Right. He's gone so, beyond that. And the last time, the last time I heard you guys talk about Jerry was about him becoming a black man. Sure. And if you're if you're just listening to this. Um, we have the video up. Jerry's clearly not black, right? I mean, or, clearly not or, black. He's whiter than I am. Somehow. Yeah, yeah, he looks yeah. Like Michael Jackson a little bit, right? He has white money behind him, and he's whiter <laughs> than that money. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, so he he came out at, and so the other uh, thing that we should say about this is Jerry came out as a black man in February, which is Black History Month, right? right. Like he's just leveraging. The, everybody's just like, you're just leveraging the algorithm. Are you saying he's a liar? Yeah, I'm not saying that. <laughs> okay. I'm just saying this is the, the what has been levied against We're him. We're saying he's clever. <laughs> Uh-oh. If I could predict what's going to happen here, I know that but June so, is this, Pride Month. Yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Carl's way, Uh-oh. You're, you're, you're way ahead of the game. Uh, okay. But anyway, so yeah, <laughs> if you think coming out as a black man has no repercussions, clip three. Oh, yeah. It's not, it did not go well for him. <laughs> Have you had your videos taken down for policy violations? <laughs> Me too. And I'm Blown sick of it. Quote. And the only solution seems to be to just put my videos out on different platforms. Because rarely do I get one video taken down on multiple platforms. And there's generally one platform that's extremely sensitive and takes down all kinds of different videos for no obvious reason at all. <laughs> no and obvious reason. And the only thing to do is just keep creating. Go ahead and put up the videos and try and follow the rules as much as possible, but accept even if you've made a clear effort to follow every single rule and you can't possibly imagine why your video would get taken down, <laughs> it still may get taken down anyway. And always appeal when your video gets taken down because I've had on some platforms more than half of my videos that got taken down put back up. Clearly showing that videos that get taken down are often not taken down correctly within the policies. No one told me there was going to be boasting. <laughs> you can't possibly yeah. imagine why. <laughs> yeah, anyway. I love that obvious got slipped in there. It's like, for some obvious reason. <laughs> and that's Black Jerry talking. So if, uh, clip four is why. I mean... Point. I am now identifying as a black man and an African American. I no longer wish to be identified as a white man or Caucasian or European descent. That's not who I am anymore. And I've been wanting to make that change for a long time. Or a rich man. Who was that? Brad Fields? Brad Fields is all over this. He just said he's black. Share the stream. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Saw the opportunity. I'm there. sharing this immediately. <laughs> can I point that out the all over it? Can I point out the obvious here? You can't say you're African American. Like that's yeah, literally yeah. like a continent that people are from. Yes. You can't just say, "Oh, no, I, I identify as being from this place and I'm not from." Like, well, that's not how that works. <laughs> yeah, you're not from Africa. No. You might identify as black, but you're you're not from <laughs> Africa. Not. Unless you say like the cradle of all civilization is. Uh, is that where we're going with this? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, so, but Carl, Carl already, <laughs> Carl already caught on to this. So yeah. Oh boy. So, but this was back in May. So what happened oh, okay. was All right. when Jerry said, I identify as black, it was February. It was black history month. Yeah. So Jerry's like, oh, I fucked up. It's black history month. That's how I fucked this up. So last month, mm. Jerry came out with the next clip. Okay. So he's wising up a little bit. He, he's getting ahead of it. Today. <laughs> I am coming out with an identification as LB 
I don't even know. <laughs> Nobody uh, knows. I had to pause it. I just have to tell everyone the visual if they're not watching this. Yeah. He's standing in front of a pride flag. The entire background is a pride flag, and he is naked or topless. Yeah, or it looks something. like he has a severe sunburn. Yeah. LB. I don't even know the acronym properly. LGBTQ, which is lesbian, gay, bisexual, oh. trans, or queer, or questioning. Now, my identification as a black man was very disturbing and shocking to some people. <laughs> That's a cute top. He's, he's revealing his, <laughs> He's wearing a pink tube top. Why is he not identifying as a woman? That's the one thing that would make sense in this video. But the L. LGBTQ <laughs> identification, right. especially I've been wearing tube tops for over a year now. I don't think anybody will be really surprised by that, L Your that wife identification. Might be. And I'm dressed up as the fifth element. <laughs> How amazing is this? Jerry! Jerry! Oh, Jerry! Shit. Jerry! This guy's the best! He's got a solid B cup. Yeah. So, I mean. Guys, this is a mental breakdown, right? Uh, no, no. Well. You think he's okay? Well, <laughs> if you know. Should he own guns? If, no. <laughs> Should this guy own guns? No, 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 no. Can we keep them all. away from him, please? Yeah, well, he's in Florida, so they're just handing him out at fucking 7 <laughs> yeah, Eleven or here's whatever. Your gun. He is. <laughs> Thanks for coming in. Here's your gun. But, so, <laughs> what I do know about Jerry, I don't know if you guys know or anything like He was, like, molested by a male babysitter when he was very young. Uh, uh, and that may. How's or the babysitter may doing? May not have. <laughs> is he going to be all right? <laughs> Thing to do with it, but so what he came out when he said he's identifying in the LBGTQ community, he came out as bi, right? Is what he came out. Well, he's married with children. He has two kids. Yeah, he is married. So being gay would be a problem, I right. would think. Yeah, just because you got and, fucked by a guy against your will doesn't mean you're bi. <laughs> doesn't mean you're not. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna get to. He's been gaming with his wife and and shit like that. And let me get through these two clips, and then we'll get into that. He got deplatformed off of Facebook gaming was like the big one for him. Right. So how is he going to make ends meet? That's clip six. I thought he was going to be a millionaire. Yeah. Being demonetized on Facebook has cost me at least $20,000 in the lost earnings over the last two months. I've spent a lot of time and energy being... Bull. Uh, NG. Yeah, NG. Yeah. NG. Yeah. He's hammered. Bull. <laughs> Bullshit. He's making 10 grand a month on Facebook. Okay. And you could lose money too. Yeah, I'm yeah, upset yeah, right. with this and fighting and trying to figure out what to do next. Meanwhile, an opportunity has been effortlessly handed to me and I've paid very little attention to it. This is such a good opportunity that I have almost $10,000. Now in GeniusToken.com. Have you guys ever heard of snake oil? <laughs> I have so much snake oil. Go on. House. I'm listening. Um, and I've done very little to get that. <laughs> what I'm learning is to let go of the past and focus on doing the best with the opportunities that are in my hands right now. With this in mind, you can expect to see a lot of videos about GeniusToken.com. <laughs> Okay. Genius token. Motivational Jerry is my favorite version of yeah. Jerry yeah, when he's yeah. telling you how to live your life because oh, it's yeah. like, hey, I, everything I'm doing is fucking wrong and I suck at life yeah, yeah. and here's how you could be too. Like, I, what? I got. I went down a, a rabbit hole. I was telling Andy like it's just all clippable, right? Like yeah. you got on his. He he posts daily, yeah. t multiple times daily. The thing that I didn't bring to the table was him showing me how I can save money buying bulk popcorn at Costco for my. <laughs> Kids and like what he eats every day, beans. Beans. His, 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 yeah, bro, oh, I, I, I had a <laughs> lot of that. beans and popcorn videos that I did not bring today. I'm glad you did. Yeah, it was like, yeah, we got to get, we got a lot to get to. But um, okay, so uh, he got deep deplatformed off of Facebook gaming. Uh, he's uh, investing a genius token now. But uh, will it all work out? Clip seven. I logged in to my Facebook account after being demonetized and removed from the partner program last month when I came out identifying as black. And now my Facebook page, all the monetization features just came back on. I'm back, baby! I'm back! <laughs> so he's fine. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Jerry's going to be all right. Good. I was all worried right. about so it for a second there. The other thing, yes. moving on from this, is that Jerry has been 
bringing his wife on to his gaming. You know, oh. all he does, you know, it's my, mostly financial advice or, you know, yeah. what to do when you're deep platform. Or aliens. Yeah. yeah. But what Jerry really does now is professional gaming, right? Sure. And so but he's gaming with his wife. Let's play uh, oh, clip eight. Poor Mrs. Banfield. Stop throwing me! <laughs> Ah! Where's all my tube tops? <laughs> oh, you won. Good job. Thank you for not pleased. Thank you for not pleased with being thrown. Evan, thank you for the 200 stars, Evan. So that's just a look at Jerry's wife here. Right? There's nothing really remarkable about this clip, but if they're if playing you... Street Fighter, <laughs> Joe, I, I it's guess 2022. What, Why I, are we playing Street Fighter? What I can tell you about this is that Jerry's never played Street Fighter. If you can fucking believe it. Neither of them, they've ever even heard of this game. No, she Who played was it. was watching this? She knew it a little bit. He had no idea. Anything. Oh he was God. like blown away by this game. What but, um. Moron. So, the other thing that I found going through his shit was yeah. a lot of stand-up comedy jokes. And oh. we can get to these or not get to them. But Don't the, fucking tease it his and say joke, we're not going to do it. Well, no. His joke two is required here. So, this is his stand-up <laughs> comedy joke two. Okay, good. Guys, did your girl ever ask you? Honey, what are you thinking? Can't stand that question. So often in my life, I've been forced to lie out of self-protection. And I've decided no more. From now on, when somebody asks me, what are you thinking? I'm going to tell them the cold, hard truth. Last month, my wife found this out the hard way. I come home from my AA meeting. She's in the kitchen in a great mood. She says, honey, what are you thinking about? And I tell her. I say, I'm thinking it'd be really nice if we move this girl you know really well into our house and both of you be my wife at the same time. Wouldn't that be great? Naturally, she starts cursing me out. You're disgusting. F you. She starts crying. I'm like, what? All I did was tell you the truth. She says, next time, why don't you just give me a more general idea of what you're thinking? And I say, don't worry about next time because you're never going to ask me what I'm thinking again. That's I'm, the punch. Thing. I'm never ripping on Tom Myers again. Seriously. <laughs> That's a like four setups. Did you do a word count on that joke? <laughs> so Even uh, Jake and the joke man's like, all right, we gotta move things along here. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. So he says he wants to move a girl like his wife's friend who he knows really well into the yeah, house. I, I heard the joke, yeah. Yeah. Well, next clip. <laughs> next clip. Who do you think it is? All right, welcome. We got the whole neighborhood. Not the, That's an exaggeration slightly, but do you guys want to introduce yourselves? This is Laura, my wife. You all know her. And... You want to go next? I'm Stephanie Marinak. Hi, I'm Justin Marinak. Wait, you're not in on that one, baby. Oh, sorry. Hi. There's a lot of cameras here. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. All right, so we're going to do... We're going to do some Mario Kart online. If you're going to swap wives, would you pick somebody that looks just like your wife? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. But so Jerry, Jerry is fucking gold alone, right? Like sure. when his mind is left on, to its own devices to just run wild and think insane thoughts, it's great. But what this, kind of t-shirt is his neighbor wearing? Captain America. Captain America. No! <laughs> That's what I thought. So he brings these people in yeah. to game with him live on his live stream. Cool. You think it'd be a good idea, right? No. No. <laughs> no. Well, you're right. Clip 11. These people are devoid of personality. I apologize to the listeners. So we're just watching them play Mario Kart. And, and say nothing. And say nothing. The two women are just earnestly playing Mario Kart, trying to win. Yeah. Saying nothing. The this woman on the left is the woman who couldn't remember her name. <laughs> her own name. <laughs> and the woman on the right is being held hostage. Yeah. She's and she's supporting Jerry. Yeah. But there was an entire life. This is not That's programming. It, devoid of common That's sense. It. This is not. This is what he's putting out on the internet. This is not programming. I want this, to see these other jokes, Joe. Th yeah. Okay. Can we can we That's, play these jokes? Yeah. Oh, oh okay. Are so, they shorter than that first one? This one. <laughs> so this is what I think Jerry... Somebody else had a great joke, and okay. Jerry took it. And okay. that's the clip. Uh, Nothing wrong with stealing jokes, 12. as we all know. <laughs> Especially if it's this joke. Go ahead, 12. Things that I can say while I'm gaming that I absolutely can't say anywhere else. Oh, Troy. Somebody put me on the registry because I'm fucking these kids. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> 
Jerry! 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 That's better than fish sticks. <laughs> God damn it, I'm back in. That's great. That's a great one. That is a great one. And yeah. I should let uh, Mark and Copy at the Carlson know about this guy. We yeah. gotta get this guy booked. Give yeah. him a weekend. All right. Pump yeah, the, enough with all these hacks. Pump, pump the brakes. We got three more jokes. Okay. You'll change your mind. Uh, should have saved that one for last. I was gonna say, that's pretty good. All right, let's see if there's something funnier than fucking kids. The year's 1944. I'm in Auschwitz, Poland. I've just got off the train. Jesus. We're going to take a shower. I'm naked. We get in the chamber. I look around. I say, listen up. You know how this is going to end. This is it for us. They can take our lives, but they can't take our spirit. I want all of you to remember one important fact. Asphyxiation can help you have a better orgasm. It can boost the feeling by as much as 30%. I want you all to line up, butt to nut, nut to butt. Take some deep breaths, hyperventilate, get that extra oxygen. And when you hear that gas coming in, you hold your breath and you see if you can finish before you die. And I want you to picture the looks on their faces when they walk in and see that we went out Having a blast. <laughs> These homos really got it done. <laughs> you know, that's not just joke, Jerry. That's motivational, Jerry. Also. Well, it's also a sign you learned something. Yeah. The thirty percent, you know, if you asphyxiate, yeah. you know. I know this. Every jerk. good joke starts with it's nineteen forty four to concentration. <laughs> <In> Auschwitz. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm in. What's what's going on? A great setup. Kind of not a great punchline. <laughs> Uh, all everything died. was horrible. We all, <laughs> <laughs> everything about that joke was nonsense. We died gay fucking. I don't know. Wow. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> there's two more jokes. Jerry, what are you thinking do you right want, now? Do you want to go with the, I don't. There's two more jokes. We can do it. We cannot. You are. Care. You have lost confidence in this whole thing. <laughs> no, 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 I'm definitely I, playing I, these I, jokes. Yeah, play them. Definitely am. Last month, I had the bright idea to tell my wife the truth. When she asked me, oh, honey, oh, what call are you thinking? Back. Hold on a second. I told her, <laughs> this is the only guy who's doing sequels to his fucking jokes. <laughs> fucking Unforgiven 2 over here. <laughs> so, w- wait, let me look here. We had, okay, so that was joke two. This is joke three. Yeah. I think what you'll see here, if anybody's really paying attention, uh-huh. joke four is conspicuously missing. Okay. There's jokes one, two, three, and five. Okay. Four? Gone. Couldn't find it. I couldn't find it. All right. He, he did, just wasn't up to snuff. He did with the uh, Holocaust. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, he wanted to like fuck other women in his marriage and have gay sex at Auschwitz. So you can bring something. all this together by saying he fucked Anne Frank. Yeah. <laughs> and then you got the kids, yeah. you got the Holocaust, you got everything. <laughs> Actually, I'm keeping that one. Yeah. <laughs> Last month, I had the bright idea to tell my wife the truth when she asked me, "Honey, what are you thinking?" I told her I was thinking about having a second wife. At the same time as her, that we could all live together in the house. That old guy. And I told her exactly who I thought would be a good candidate for that. Naturally, she cursed me out and cried, ruined the rest of the evening until I apologized. I said, look, I was a bit inconsiderate. Next time, I'll just keep that to myself and give you a more general idea of what I'm thinking. Yeah, I tell my that. viewers this while I'm live. One viewer tries to <laughs> catch me off guard and make me see it from my wife's point of view. They say, what if she came to you and said... That she wanted to move another guy in. And I was really surprised by my first thought. I thought, well, as long as I could do him too, that'd be great. I could do him one night, do her the next night, and we could all meet up together on the third night. Let's go. I mean, there's four more nights in a week, but yeah. whatever. I don't like how horny Jerry is. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's, it's always, off-putting. he's yeah. always been disgusting. I don't know if horny. he wrote this joke before he came out as bi, but yeah. <laughs> it's like not a surprise. I know. I kind of saw that. I want to point out coming. that there was a number to text him at. Yeah. I think people should take him up on that and <laughs> tell him what a fucking dick waddy is. What? We I, love Jerry. I, I he's love, our hero. I, I, I he's do scoring have around say, the clock. I do have <laughs> to Tell me you want to move in and fuck him. I meant to qualify this before. It, I love Jerry. Yeah. Like, I, I love everything about Jerry. I agree. So. Jerry Jerry's a fan favorite. Alright, last joke. Last joke. Number five. Do you ever think about sex as soon as you walk into a room full of people? Happens to me I all know the Jerry time. Does. You're not alone. I walk into this AA meeting last month. There's 15 dudes and one hot girl. <laughs> and I all. think... If we all had sex with her, 
what position would I be in line? And I think eh, maybe somewhere in the middle, you know, there's that'd probably be about right. And then I remember, oh, my wife just gave me head this morning. That'd be pretty selfish if I'm in the middle of the line when some of these dudes haven't got laid in years. I'll go ahead and go to the back. But then I'm thinking, well, what if somebody already had sex twice today? Then I should go in front of them. That puts me at about 14th in line. As I'm picturing myself in this line of dudes, I'm thinking, you know, if I still want to do this when I get to the front of the line, maybe I need to go to a Sexaholics Anonymous meeting right after this. Text Jerry at 727 uh, yeah. Hey, Mark, ne- never mind. I don't have a comedian for you. I was, <laughs> yeah. I was wrong. That was the end of the joke? <laughs> yeah. He's in jail. I, there's no <laughs> fucking punchline. I mean, you thought these were going to be real jokes? Yeah. It's a good thing I have nothing better to do with any of my time so that I could listen to If this you're not watching this, by the way, Jerry setup. does think these are jokes. He's labeling them. Stand-up comedy. Special joke. Yeah. <laughs> Stand-up comedy special jokes. So I just want to say, I think he was just bragging. I think he just wanted to tell me when he got a blowjob that morning, right? <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Right? I wasn't even a joke. I would have started doing that with my jokes to oh, start yeah, bragging uh, about shit. Also, next time you see me at an AA meeting, I'm thinking about fucking you. Doesn't matter who. <laughs> yeah, what a creep. <laughs> what an absolute creep this guy anyway, is. Anyway, that's what Jerry's up to. Who are these podcasts? W-A-T.